the rally of the stock market since um, since March has really confounded a lot of people. I remember at the time uh, maximum pessimism. The world financial system looked like it was melting down, and then it's always typical the tenor of the market changes with without any warning, and then really has it has been a very, very sharp rally since then. And it's been a combination of, of some things, change in sentiment, but also definite signs, clearly the financial system um, has, has held together. And then also there have been um, signs that in different pockets of the economy that the, the recovery is happening. And as, as inefficient as it may seem, the stock market is often a pretty good harbinger of, of the future and is quite effective at discounting uh, a positive change or negative in the case of bear markets. And clearly that some part of this rally is based on the fact that things are getting better. I think the other thing that it's important uh, to understand, and this, this then relates to whether there's still opportunity, stocks had, had become very, very cheap in March. And so what you've had in the first leg is a big snapback rally in some companies were, were distress priced where they had inability to get to capital or they looked like they were going to go out of business and then in the case of we use the case of the Canadian financial institutions they were trading at very very discounted prices because of fear of credit loss and possible cuts in dividends so the first leg of the rally is is a return to fairer value and so for someone who has missed the rally for um, psychological reasons where they were fearful now its selectivity is going to be more important and we're operating on the thesis that companies that can show good earnings growth from this level and are reasonably valued, despite the fact that, that they've, stocks have had a good move, that there's still, value, uh, there's still value in the stock market. But it's now more of a, select, a selective process versus general undervaluation of the stock market.